Welcome to this video abstract of our study titled Evidence-Based Management Competency Model for Managers in Hospital Settings, published in the British Journal of Management. My name is Lina Dauk Euru from the American University of Beirut, and here are my collaborators, Tina Sahakia and the late Professor Fons van de Viever from Tilburg University. Many have described today's business world as a VUCA world, where volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity are steadily increasing, making managerial decision-making much more challenging. With all this growing uncertainty looming around the world, one thing is becoming more and more certain, that is, the increase in the amount of data. Data about products, about users, about providers, qualitative, quantitative data, data in all its forms and shapes. The quality of managers' decision-making is critical to the performance of organizations, and leveraging such data and decision-making has become key to creating competitive advantage. Yet, we find that many decisions are still being made primarily based on intuition and without reliance on other sources of data or evidence. To this end, evidence-based management has been proposed as an approach to encourage greater reliance on data and decision-making. Evidence-based management has been defined as the explicit, judicious, and conscientious use of the best available evidence in management decision-making. Evidence may come from different sources. Of course, managers' professional experience is one source, but there's also scientific evidence documenting all the research conducted about various management and business-related issues. There's also data collected within every organization, in addition to the internal and external stakeholder values and concerns. Although many organizations look the same at the surface level, the best available data depends on the context of each organization. For example, a hospital that utilizes electronic medical records will have access to different types of evidence than one that relies on paper documentation. So what is best in one context may be mediocre in another. Regardless whether the data is readily available or not, it is the managers who must identify, gather, mobilize, and incorporate this evidence in their decision-making. Accordingly, insights into the competencies of such managers can help organizations attract and develop the right internal human capabilities. Hence, in this research, we set out to develop an empirically-driven competency model for managers who adopt an evidence-based approach in their decision-making. We conducted our study within the healthcare sector, particularly focusing on hospital settings, and through in-depth interviews with managers from multiple hospitals across Lebanon, we captured and analyzed 657 unique and meaningful utterances. The resultant was a competency model consisting of four dimensions inspired from the management literature, technical, cognitive, interpersonal, and intrapersonal dimensions. These dimensions incorporated within them 13 competencies and 35 sub-competencies. We further mapped the 13 competencies onto Rousseau and Gunia's foundational and functional competency classification. To give you an example of the competencies we identified in this model, we will highlight few of them, starting with creativity, not in the traditional sense, but in terms of finding creative sources of evidence or data, even in the face of resource scarcity and lack of readily available data. Relationship management was also found to be critical to uh, the evidence-based management uh, process, considering that fostering positive relationships with individuals inside and outside the organization can facilitate access to information and expert opinion. Similarly, management styles that focus on creating an atmosphere of acceptance where employees can safely express their concerns and share information would allow managers access to more valid data from their subordinates. Finally, open-mindedness was also found to be critical to our model as it reflected managers' openness to changing their mind even after having made a decision in case the evidence proved otherwise. Finally, data is here to stay. However, selecting and developing evidence-driven managers is necessary, but it's not enough. Organizations must proactively work on minimizing barriers and creating a supportive culture and structure that promotes the practice of evidence-based management. We hope that you enjoyed this video abstract. Read our full article to know more about the study and do get in touch if you have any further questions.